You may disagree with this and that is your choice. I am going to tell you what the Bible is saying. So <laughs> in the end, you can choose what you want to do. But when things turn out bad for you, you will know why it is that way because you chose to disobey God, the Bible. Let's go to Proverbs 13 and 24. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times. So he that spareth his rod hateth his son. I know that this is saying he, but this can mean she as well. I know this is saying son, but this can mean daughter as well. So he or she that spareth his rod, his or her rod, hateth his or her son or daughter. So what is that saying? If you choose to not discipline your children, this is saying that you hate them. I am not saying it. This is what the Bible is saying. You hate your children when you don't spank them or discipline them. I am not saying that you have to break their arm or break their legs and crush their ribs and heavily injure them. I am not saying that because that is wrong. There is a difference between discipline and abuse. The Bible is not saying to abuse your children. The Bible is saying to discipline your children, not abuse. So if you break your child's arm, you can't say, well, God is saying <laughs> I have to discipline my children. No, that is abuse. That is wrong. So when you choose to not discipline your children, not spank your children you may say well when i was younger my parents would spank me and punish me and stuff like that so now that i have children i don't want to do any of that to them you are setting up your children for failure and from what the bible is saying you hate your children when you choose to not discipline them or spank them but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times so what does chasteneth mean let's look it up chasten having a restraining or moderating effect on of a reproof or misfortune so you are correcting if you don't correct your children they are going to do whatever they want to do because they don't really know they may know right from wrong but they don't know much this is why as a parent you need to guide them I like where it says it here Discipline, punish. Let me highlight it. <laughs> Red. So you have to discipline your children. This is what the Bible is saying. Let's go to Proverbs 23 and 13. And I know some people are saying, well, Kevin, I'm not going to discipline my children because blah, 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 blah. Hey, look. You can do whatever you want to do. I am just telling you what the Bible is saying. So if you choose to not do it, hey, <laughs> go right ahead. But when things fall upon you, you know why. Proverbs 23 and 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. 
So obviously this is not talking about abuse where you are breaking bones and all of this crazy stuff. I am not saying that you have to punch your child in the face. That is wrong. Where you are leaving huge bruises all over their body and stuff like that, like from the head, giving them, giving them a bloody nose and stuff like that. I am not saying that. Discipline, spanking, and abusing, or yes, spanking and abusing your child is not the same thing. Discipline is not the same thing as abusing. There is a difference. You don't want to heavily injure your child. That is wrong. That is demonic, to be honest with you. Withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. So discipline, spank your children. If you don't, or if you say to yourself, well, let me say this. There was this woman I used to be friends with. I believe she died uh, in 2013 or something like that. I was really good friends with her. And she was telling me about her life and her childhood and about how she was at school. She was a very, very, very bad child. Of course, she could say, well, I was bad because of this happened and that happened. No, her mother and her father, I believe, chose not to discipline her. So she pretty much, to a certain extent, did what she wanted. And she got into a lot of trouble. What if she had parents that really disciplined her, that really would spank her and stuff like that? Would she have turned the same way? I don't think so. And I forget which year it was when I was speaking to her, maybe 2012 or 13, I forget. But she was pretty much saying the reasons why she was acting that way because she knew that her mother would not really do anything about it. <laughs> she was, from what she was telling me, a very bad child. And as she grew up, that carried with her. And at times, she was really, really rude, mean, and everything else. Why is that? Her parents. I pray that this makes sense. I was really good friends with her, but she died early. And I was really, really sad when she died. So the condition of your children is your fault. I mean, the way that your child comes out, their behavior and everything like that is dependent on your parenting. So you can't point the finger at your child without pointing the finger at yourself. Because it is your fault that your child have turned out the way that they have. When your child turns out right, don't the parents want the credit? Yes. But when a person's child turned out bad, the parent don't want to take the credit for it. Coincidence? I think not. Discipline your children. Spank them. Not abuse. I am not saying to break their bones and their limbs and stuff like that. No, that is demonic. Don't give them a black eye and do all of these abusing type of things. That is evil. That is not of God. Abuse is not of God. Discipline is of God. 
And if you don't know the difference between discipline and abuse, something is wrong. So I pray that this makes sense and follow the Bible. Because when you follow the Bible, things turn out better for you. If you don't, you can't wonder why things turn out bad for you. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.